Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 250 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year, which is less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aroleba. Let's get started. Day 250, September 7th, 2023, 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament, Isaiah 14, Isaiah 15, Isaiah 16, New Testament, 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 15, Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 106, 1 to 15. Old Testament, NIV version, Isaiah 14, 1 to 32. The Lord will have compassion on Jacob once again. He will choose Israel and will settle them in their own land. Foreigners will join them and unite with the descendants of Jacob. Nations will take them and bring them to their own place. And Israel will take possession of the nations and make them male and female servants in the Lord's land. They will make captives of their captors and rule over their oppressors. On the day the Lord gives you relief from your suffering and turmoil, and from the harsh labor forced on you, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon, how the oppressor has come to an end, how his fury has ended. The Lord has broken the rod of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers, which in anger struck down peoples with unceasing blows, and in fury subdued nations with relentless aggression. All the lands are at rest and at peace they break into singing even the junipers and the cedars of lebanon gloat over you and say now that you have been laid low no one comes to cut us down the realm of the dead below is all as dear to me to meet you at your coming it rouses the spirits of the departed to greet you all those who were leaders in the world it makes them rise from their thrones all those who were kings over the nations they will all respond they will say to you you also have become weak as we are you have become like us all your pomp has been brought down to the grave along with the noise of your harps maggots are spread out beneath you and worms cover you how you have fallen from heaven morning star son of the dawn you have been cast down to the earth you who once laid low the nations you said in your heart i will ascend to the heavens i will raise my throne above the stars of god i will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly on the utmost heights of mount zaphon i will ascend above the tops of the clouds i will make myself like the most high but you are brought down to the realm of the dead to the depths of the pit those who see you stare at you they ponder your fate is this the man who shook the earth and made kingdoms tremble the man who made the world a wilderness who overthrew its cities and would not let his captives go home all the kings of the nations lie in state each in his own tomb but you are cast out of your tomb like a rejected branch you are covered with the sling with those pierced by the sword those who descend to the stones of the pit like a corpse trampled on the food you will not join them in burial for you have destroyed your land and killed your people let the offspring of the wicked never be mentioned again prepare a place to slaughter his children for the sins of their ancestors they are not to rise to inherit the land and cover the earth with their cities i will rise up against them declares the lord almighty I will wipe out Babylon's name and survivors, her offspring and descendants, declares the Lord. I will turn her into a place for owls and into swamp land. I will sweep her with the broom of destruction, declares the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty has sworn, surely as I have planned, so it will be, and as I have purposed, so it will happen. I will crush the Assyrian in my land. 
on my mountains i will trample him down his yoke will be taken from my people and his burden removed from their shoulders this is the plan determined for the whole world that is the hand stretched out over all nations for the lord almighty has purpose and who can thwart it his hand is stretched out and who can turn it back a prophecy against the philistines this prophecy came in the year king ahaz died do not rejoice all you philistines that the rod that struck you is broken from the root of that snake will spring up a viper its fruit will be a darting venomous serpent the poorest of the poor will find pasture and the needy will lie down in safety but your root will i will destroy by famine it will slay your survivors will you gate hull you city melt away all you philistines a cloud of smoke comes from the north and there is not a straggler in its ranks what answer shall be given to the envoys of that nation? The Lord has established Zion, and in her his afflicted people would find refuge. Isaiah 15, 1-7 A prophecy against Moab a prophecy against Moab. Ar in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Kir in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Dibon goes up to its temple, to its high places to weep. Moab wails over Nebo and Mediba. Every head is shaved and every beard cut off. In the streets, they wear sackcloth on the roofs and in the public squares, they all wail, prostrate with weeping. Heshbon and Elielel cry out their voices, are heard all the way to Jahaz. Therefore, the armed men of Moab cry out and their hearts are faint. My heart cries out over Moab. Her fugitives flee as far as Zoar, as far as Eglat, Sheli, Shia. They go up to the hill to Luhit, weeping as they go on the road to Horonaim. They lament their destruction. The waters of Nimrim are dried up and the grass is withered. The vegetation is gone and nothing green is left. So the wealth they have acquired and stored up, they carry away over the ravine of the poplars. Their outcry echoes along the border of Moab. Their wailing reaches as far as Eglem. Their lamentation as far as Bear Elin. The waters of Demon are full of blood, but I will bring still more upon Demon. A lion upon the fugitives of Moab and upon those who remain in the land. Isaiah 16, 1-14 Send lambs as tribute to the ruler of the land from Selam across the desert to the mount of daughter Zion. Like fluttering birds pushed from the nest, so are the women of Moab at the fords of the Arnon. Make up your mind, Moab says. Render a decision. Make your shadow like night at night at high noon hide the fugitives do not betray the refugees let the moabite fugitives stay with you be their shelter from the destroyer the oppressor will come to an end and destruction will cease the aggressor will vanish from the land in love a throne will be established in faithfulness a man will sit on it one from the house of david one who in judging seeks justice and speeds the cause of righteousness we have heard of Moab's pride, how great is her arrogance, of her conceit, her pride and her insolence, but her boasts are empty. Therefore, the Moabites will, they will together for Moab, lament and grieve for the raising cakes of Kir Harashet. The fields of Heshbon wither, the vines of Sibma also. The rulers of the nations have trampled down the choicest vines which once reached Jazir and spread toward the desert. Their shoots spread out and went as far as the sea. So I weep as Jazir weeps for the vines of Sibma, Heshbon and Eliale. I drench you with tears. The shouts of joy over you over your ripened fruit and over your harvest have been stilled. Joy and gladness are taken away from the orchards no one sings our shout in the vineyards. No one treads out wine at the presses. For I have put an end to the shouting. My heart laments for Moab like a harp. My inmost being for Kir Harashet 
when Moab appears at her high place, she only wears herself out. When she goes to her shrine to pray, it is to no avail. This is the word of this is the word the Lord has already spoken concerning Moab. But now the Lord says, within three years, as a servant bound by contract will count them, Moab's splendor and all her pe many people will be despised and her survivors will be very few and feeble. New Testament and IV version, 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 15. Generosity encouraged. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, you they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor their righteousness endures forever now he will supply seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and through us your generosity will result in thanksgiving to god this service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the lord's people but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to god because of the service by which you have proved yourselves Others will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Hallelujah. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 106, 1 to 15. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Blessed are those who act justly, who always do what is right. Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people, come to my aid when you save them, that I may enjoy the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. We have sinned even as our ancestors did. We have done wrong and acted wickedly when our ancestors were in egypt they gave no thought to your miracles they did not remember your many kindnesses and they rebelled by the sea the red sea yet he saved them for his name's sake to make his mighty power known he rebuked the red sea and it dried up he led them through the depths as through a desert he saved them from the hand of the foe from the hand of the enemy he redeemed them the waters covered their adversaries not one of them survived. Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. But they soon forgot what he had done and did not wait for his plan to unfold. In the desert they gave in to their craving. In the wilderness they put God to the test. So he gave them what they asked for but sent a wasting disease among them. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Believe in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you said this prayer. We are so excited to welcome you to God's family. Can you go ahead right now? Send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Bolio Areleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. 
I love you. Bye.